Forced to run in low gear over the rough grades, trucker Charlie Barr found himself crawling along at a tortuous three miles per hour. Well, you're just sitting there rocking smack back and forth like this. It was, uh, it, it just jar your teeth out. So you're just easing in all the way up. It was very slow. The hours were just as long as the guys could stand it. Just when, when we never shut down till we couldn't go anymore to get the stuff up there. The trucks, built for paved highways in the lower 48, couldn't stand up to the punishment. Springs, transmissions, and motor mounts all broke. The drivers had to improvise fixes on the spot. If the rigs couldn't be patched up, they'd be abandoned. One fellow broke at a front spring and took a 20-foot 4 before, and we sawed it off in increments till it had built a spring for the front of his truck. And chained it in, and then he drove it all the way up and all the way back with that darn four before. It worked well. The trucks got just one mile to the gallon, so fuel tankers had to accompany the first convoy to refill the diesel-guzzling rigs. Trucks were kept running 24 hours a day to keep engines from seizing in the sub-zero cold. Each truck burned 80 gallons of fuel a night, just idling. With no camps to shelter them, the men slept in their poorly heated cabs and struggled to keep warm. 200 miles into the trip, the convoy had to climb over the rugged Brooks Range through 2,000-foot-high Anatovic Pass. In the mountains, raging blizzards obliterated the road. Luckily, the self-sufficient drivers had carried along their own front-end loader to clear the way. The worst part about it when you get blown in by the snow covers in the engine that plugs off the air cleaners and all that stuff so you don't get any sleep time. You've got to keep tending the trucks and making sure that you can move when the thing does quit blowing so you can get out of there. In late April, 450 miles and 23 days after setting out on the pioneering road trip, the exhausted convoy staggered into the oil well camps and delivered their loads. The intrepid truckers had proven that the North Slope could be reached overland, but at a heavy cost. You know, it, it's tough, really tough. The worst uh, trucking I've ever done in my life, this is when I first started getting ball-headed. 